my channel. Today we are back with Red Dead Redemption 2 and we are on part 10 and last we left off, old Dutch over here had something to say to us. How you Dutch? doing, old friend? I'm doing bad. Oh. oh. <laughs> it's funny. Us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Is it? Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. Crick. I reckon it's full of fit. Hello. Okay. Did your line cut off or am I mishearing things? Why is everything blacking out for a hot second? What the hell is going on? Can we can we go? What are we doing? I'm hungry. Can we stop and get McDonald's? Hey! Old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey, you don't Stop. look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long, old Gosh. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Hosea. Let's oh. go fishing. Hold on, All my right, horse gentlemen. has to take Let a me shit. Let show you how it's done. Okay. I'm following you. So, you guys got any cool stories? I'm coming through. Okay, go. God damn it. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, there was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Man, a shit. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived. How well we have fought. Especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate... We have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching. Oh, but Lord. I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. What's that supposed Still, to mean, Dutch? We do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil. Dutch has and asked rocks. the gang to not See use weapons or cause trouble in roads. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, ho, ho. this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Cool as a cucumber, boys. Oh. Well, what do we have here? Hello, gentlemen. Trelawney. Well, Look what the cat drug is. Well, well, look who it is. Myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. 
This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. Hey, it's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. Now, he is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Oh, no. Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take our sure. squad with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can You're discuss the right, foolish boy. magician. Stay with that train. I Don't am, let them get away. I am Keep going as fast We need as them I can. Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. My All thumbs right. Come on, gonna we'll fall them. off. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster. Come on. What's Shit. your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Damn it. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Come on. Come back to top. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Ooh, that must have hurt. Ooh. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. I'm going as fast as my little thumb can push the button. Hurry. Get I'm, alongside it. Get I'm, alongside I'm going, that flat I'm going, carriage. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. You think I'm you going. can jump on there? Maybe. Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Oof. Bastards. I didn't do nothing. Uh, Jesus, uh, I forget what. Enough. Oh yeah, B. My That's thumb is gonna fall off Damn after it. this mission. <laughs> run! Don't let them get away. They're only making it worse. Oh, what do you mean run? He's getting away. Well, they only have. They can only go so far, so fast. Shitbag. Shitbag. Go on, don't lose them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna beat your ass. Damn bastard. Get the hell away from me. There we go. Alright. Yep. Stop. Stop in the name of the law, god damn it. Go, get after them. I'm going I'm as fast as I can. Yeah, whatever. It's just us then, long man. Come here. Ooh, Boy, come here, boy. Father. You Let gotta put go. a mouth. Can't do that. Well, come here. He's a shit. Come on. Just don't kill him. Uh, I'm trying. Uh, ow, ow, ow. What if I just kick him in the Try teeth? At least. How about you just. There we go. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Who's talking now, huh? Yeah, you little bitch. Hello? Little bitch. Is everything all right in there? Yeah, everything's yeah. fine. I don't think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Can, can I get... Oh. All right, here we go. Uh, pig anus, there you go. Bring him out here. Deputy. Yeah, they said the air Sounded is thick like and soupy and hot, but you can still him? see Arthur's breath. I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what, oh, what a name. Take him in. Come on. All right. Hold on. Fine I had to job. adjust well my microphone. Done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. I don't Let care. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. Mm -hmm. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him uh -huh. in. Uh -huh. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's he... really saying something. <laughs> that was hard to say. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. 
I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly I was a U.S. Marshal that. back in the day. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. Not On really. the right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Okay. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain around here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the sure. one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, you just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Here we are, welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Careful! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Okay. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? I'm trying. Okay, this way. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. You Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. <laughs> so, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Well, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The most yeah, that sheriff good gray citizens guy? of Rhodes, we welcome Look at his face. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. He, his got skin enough is trouble just from so some white, of the it looks gray. Old-timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will like he looks like a vampire. Straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo? These better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. Interminable. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out Rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose. You start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Oh, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents. <laughs> Superman. I'd meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not Sure. Tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Bye. Okay, so these two plantation families. Are you guys just, just gonna you walk ahead of me? Sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Uh -huh. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend Archibald. Good. Archibald. Oh, yeah. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Why are you guys walking well, ahead of me it. like that? There's still time. Rude. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Oh, you're actually gonna talk to me? Oh, okay, yeah, sure. fine. I'll go fishing with your stupid ass. Great. I'm just kidding. Isaiah, Great. Why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? 
You know, if you listen really carefully place. and you step in okay. in horse shit, it actually squishes. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. You hear it? Ugh. <laughs> There's my horse. That man ain't got no shoes on. All right, gentlemen, follow me. Hi there, folks. Hello, sir. Hello, Hi. sir. Take your foolishness elsewhere, you shit-brain animal. So how far Excuse is Excuse me? A bit of a ride still. And it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. Okay. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are as running or your catching mouth. catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. Mm. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was yeah. good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> yeah. oh. ha. So what Trelawney <laughs> said about those bounty hunters? What you think? I told you, I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems yeah, but they were never this now, close. Dutch. Super agents. That's just Trelawney over-egging the pudding like the showman he is. Unless there's a new breed of special man I don't know about. Mm -hmm. So, do nothing? Not until I've thought it through. Interesting about those yeah. two families. We'll look into it. Good. Like I said, no, when we set get off, get out of the way. They start turning the soil. Low profile. This is Low the and spot. slow, boys. Down to the left there. Hmm. Oh. This is the spot that me and Charles came down, isn't it? I think it is. I think it is. Ooh, we getting in the water? I saw water? some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Piggy dipping. Piggy dipping in the piggy pond. Yes, over there on the shore. That water looks so good. Like I've played games that I'm even sure came out after Red Dead Redemption. These. Come on. And the water physics, graphics, whatever you want to call it, has never looked as good as Red Dead Redemptions. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Are you shitting again? Jesus. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. All right. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh. Oh. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <laughs> hey. Uh. hey. Don't shit your pants now. Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. <laughs> You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Row, row, row your boat. 
Good fish. That'll do too. Head towards the middle of the lake. Sure. <laughs> and we're taking on water, Captain. I'm giving her all she's got. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. I think here's good. All okay, right. skirt, skirt. Good luck, gentlemen. Uh. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance of hooking something big, like. Sure. A sturgeon. What's wrong with good I'm gonna. Old I'm just gonna stare oh, into the sun. Good for tiddlers like bluegill and rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. Well, you guys got any really cool stories? Like this you one time at bank camp? Just gotta reel him in now. All right, Arthur. all right, all right. Hold on, hold on. More okay, it in, boys. Got him. Is that a look at that bird up there? All right, he's a, he's struggling. He's a struggler. Reel him in real quick. Do we have an anchor? Guys, do you know if we have an anchor? Well, is nobody going to tell any good stories? Hey, look at this. Is that a beauty. trout? There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger ah, than that. Yeah, it's a trout. Well, it yes. Told me once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, you reckon? <laughs> I would like to see that. There Why is. does it zoom there way there. out like that? You remember that time we sent and Arthur him? out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Not this again. I don't think I do. Oh yeah, you do. He was maybe 20, 21, walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast, toasted him all night. This was mm -hmm. 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then the next week, Arthur and I are at the market and Fishmonger calls out, so how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> mm. Look, you can fish or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. I guess so. It looks like it's getting dark, guys. Guys, it's getting dark. I'm afraid I used of the to go dark. I fishing with this fella back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. We'd go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing when mm -hmm. we see a funeral procession going over the bridge. And out of the blue, Wesley stands bass? up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. Okay. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Well... You know Remember if you guys those were big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Copper went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh he had some spirit though. I don't there know if you guys are talking like this. Idea. You're never gonna catch fish you know, from real life. I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. As a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. I I, I don't like it. I hate it. Don't like the desert. Anytime. Too dusty. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and great plains. We saw when we went back to Sean. 
Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. All right. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. You can actually I, see I her grave, actually, of mine in the game. Later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. What is what I I'm all the imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Nice, oh, okay. you hooked him. Ha, got ya! Oh, Jose got a fish. Little trout. Little stew head trout. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is getting a little tedious, guys. Not a whole lot of action. I know, I know. But, I just wanted to get the, the stories from these guys. I think this will be my last fish. But, uh, yep, it's trout. There you go. That's a nice one. Mm, nice. Right. That'll grill up nice. Sure. All right. Uh, can we? Hey, I reckon we, we call can go. Day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. Yeah, you ain't done shit all day, Hosea. All right. I'm the hey, one that has to row. We got here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good I idea. got a girl in Berryville. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That okay. was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Uh, row, row, right, row your one. boat. I asked that gal to give me some. Mm -hmm. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait until the taters is done. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I couldn't wait till the tins was done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I couldn't wait till the tins was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, what? I wish to God I'd passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd passed her by. Tater got burnt and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. But you know... What song we should be singing? What? Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who we come from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? The end is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round 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 round. We care not for those martial men that do our states disdain. But we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around. To them we dance this round around around. And he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground the ground the ground the ground the ground the ground the ground. Oh, bravo! Bravo! Well, you know. We should not let the folks back at camp think that we had too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> Alright guys, we're almost there. <clears throat> almost home. So we just stole a boat. Well, that's probably not the worst thing Dutch has ever done. Or I've ever done. Or even Hosea for that fact. Pull up, go skirt, skirt. All right. I think I, well, I mean, we mm -hmm. are going to be okay. 
I know. Oh, sure. I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are gonna be just fine. Okay. That whole first this mission took like what? For us. Half now, an hour. Anyway, I hope so. I hope so. All right, let me. I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. Yeah, that is that is a pretty nice view. Not gonna lie, that would be pretty cool to live here. The New South. What did I? What did I get? Anything? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, didn't fare very well there, Arthur, but whatever. Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do what you, you want? Uh, what do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, just a, just a few bucks. I'm short. Get lost. <sighs> Well, I'll go try someone with a heart. You do that. Uh, excuse you? God, Tilly. You don't have to be rude, man. Did you guys see that? I've been violated. Mr. Pearson, look what I've got. Arthur. Fish. Mr. Matthews. I heard Mr. Tilly say, Matthews. Arthur, what do you want? Arthur. What? You shove me. Now what do you want? No, I don't. I don't want to play dominoes with you. No. A giant whale stalked us for months. The same thing happened to me just south of Milwaukee. <laughs> Only I don't like to talk about it. I have nasty memories though. What? You're not a kind man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not fooled. Watch God, out. Um, you watch out. You I was standing here. You ran into me, jackass. What is it today? Am I invisible? Pearson. 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 The fuck? Where are you going? Well, fine. Fuck you then. I'm out of here. I was thinking about doing these, but I don't think I will because it's going to take forever. Let's just go to the gray yeah. area and see what's what. Easy so I'll see you guys boy. there. I, I'm looking for my mate Gavin. You think all this Lemoyne air is free for you? Gav? Uh. about here Jesus How are we not here? Oh, forget it. He's gone. We're going to catch all kinds of hell from the sheriff over there. I'm all right. Um I it worked not better. We need to settle this soon once and for all. Okay. Whatever. It guys, it's getting dark and I can't see a goddamn thing. Hey, look, well, you I've been won't. helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Damn it, Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. What the hell was that? Jackass? Uh, I can't talk to you. At least I don't think. You. Really? Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. <sighs> Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I was just looking for work. Well, looking for something. 
Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse mm -hmm. me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. It's <gasps> impossible. No. Love tends to be complicated. Secret romance. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, oh, nephew no. of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved. <laughs> Gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... <laughs> I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Did you pull Please. it out of your ass? I got the sun beating in on my window and it's dark out in the game. They're worse with strangers than ours are. Okay. And it's Where's my fucking horse? And, uh... It, it's getting kind of hard to see in here, guys. Not gonna lie. Come on, get over here, slowpoke. It's not a good look if I can outrun you. You know? Not a good idea. Okay, boy. Hey, you Here. That order, right? Oh, shut the fuck up. You better watch out now. I'm gonna kick- you better watch out. I'm gonna right. kick you in the fucking teeth. I like the music. Alright. Now. Very saucy music. Very nice. Tell you what though, I think I may have to close my blinds because I can't see anything. There's like a glare on the screen. Goodness gracious. I need a flashlight. But this is kind of difficult, I guess, to break in here a little bit. Okay, I think I might go around this way because that's a little bit easier. There we go. Just hop on over and act like it never existed. It's fine. Is that cotton? You guys didn't see anything. It's fine. I know. Uh-oh. 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 Well, let's, uh, let's do this. All right, and we'll just sneak our way. All right. Okay, we're here. There we go. And I closed my blinds so I can Grace see. Why, yes, I why, am. Why, yes, I've I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... He just throws it down. A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh, from Bo. <gasps> it's your boy. Oh, he is so... Strange? <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our family. are... Like, I'm done fucking them the goddamn aliens. Or, well, I don't know. Cave people, perhaps. I Bo's thought they were different. aliens. My bad. But if they find out... They'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Okay. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, no. neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left, but now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Uh, can we, can we get to the point? Are, are stupid. There's something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, nope. they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I 
I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Maybe. What's in it for me? All right, leave the area without being seen. Lovely. It's all red. Great. All right, cool. I, I got spotted? Oh, I guess in the beginning, I guess I did. All right. Anyways. All right. I think I'm going to leave this episode here. We have gotten to know the sheriff of Rhodes, helped him out, and went over to the Gray's estate and helped out Bo. And he's got a little love triangle, not a love triangle, but a love situation with their arch nemesis, nemesis, enemy. Uh, not Catherine Braithwaite. What's her name? Penelope Braithwaite. There we go. I got it. And uh, so we will see where all this finagling uh, leads to. So if you guys liked this episode, please leave it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. <gasps> Bye!